This is Joel with Inflatable Office. I wanted to give you a quick overview of how to use and navigate the software and explore some of its features. So this first page that you'll come to when you log in is our leads and events page. You can get to it here. Um, this list has a, is uh, both your upcoming events as well as past events, as well as just quote requests and, and customer requests. So you have to filter it here where you can use the section, the sidebar on the left in order to filter it. You can filter by a date range here. Um, just by clicking here and say, we want to see anything in the next whatever month. Um, and it'll add it to this filtered list. And so you can add other things, say, we also want to see, um, upcoming events. You know, you can just pick the status and it'll just continue to filter it. You can also just do a search. If you have a certain customer you're looking for, just type in their name and it'll quickly filter the list as well. If you want to see the details of, um, you just click on it. You'll notice the sidebars changed over here. Now it's just kind of um, shortcuts. So this, this lead, lead contains all the details that you need. You can simply scroll to get to it. Or if you want to quickly get to a certain section, let's say the details about the contract, you just click it and it'll quickly jump over to it. If you need to hide or show that, you can click the logo here and it'll just take up a little less space. Let's go back up to the top. So up here at the top of the statuses, so um, quote status means they're just getting a quote, nothing is reserved. Contracted means you've sent them a contract. Confirmed means they signed the contract and paid the deposit. And so the system will switch between those statuses automatically, but if you need to change something manually, you can just simply click it and save the lead. Um, and it'll show a little confirmation here that it's worked successfully. So you can just hit okay to clear that. Now you want to pay attention because sometimes you'll have errors that'll come up there for various reasons. You can also use this section here to add items. You click on this little bar here and you can search for any item in your inventory um, and add it. Ones that are red here will show as unavailable and you'll be able to see the how many it's overbooked by. You can adjust any of the prices here just by simply typing in. You can either give it a discount over here or you can just um, adjust the price just by typing it in. It'll automatically calculate the tax, any other distance charges or, or things you've configured. And uh, all of those things that you can configure here under the settings. And so you can, for example, if you wanna make filters you use all the time, you can go to the filters section. Um, So yeah, like I said, you can just scroll down. Um, some of this stuff can be customized, some of it can't, um, but this uh, contains all the details you need for that event and that customer. Um, we also organize the uh, customer records here. This is like an address book under customers. Anyone who gets a quote or does an event with you will come in here. You can use this list to send out newsletters um, or you can export it and, and use it on your Facebook ads if you wanna to advertise to certain customers. Um, and so we'll, we've tried to keep all the navigation the same. So on the left over here, you can filter um, or um, if you need to change the view here, that's what these reports are for. The dashboards up here is, um, shows you a quick overview and of how the business is doing. And you can click on any of these things on the left to see different ones. You can make your own dashboards, you make your own charts using filters and reports to do that. Um, I didn't show you this part here, but this is kind of our, our tools at the top. So if you need to email a certain customer, um, usually you just click on it and then you can click on the email. And here you can choose like if what kind of email you wanna to send to them. You can make your own email templates here by going to email sender. Otherwise we have some default ones set up here that you can use. Um, if you're using our IO phone, you can make phone calls and um, receive phone calls. When a customer calls in, you'll be able to navigate right to their events. Um, this here is part of our uh, task CRM tool and you can set tasks and reminders to you or your staff. And then of course we went over um, the settings briefly. Next, we have um, this logistics list. And so here you can set up your workers um, who has access to the software for off your office staff, as well as your laborers, if you wanna have them um, be able to sign up 
or shifts um, that you might have for an event. The delivery planner is a tool that helps you schedule your weekend of deliveries all in one place. It makes it real easy to do. Um, and I didn't go over this earlier either, but this is the time bar on an event. So if you, you can see the, the event times, the setup times, and the travel times, um, that'll automatically calculate it for each event based on where it's at. You can, of course, adjust them by simply clicking on them um, to make any, any of those um, changes. Um, and lastly, I just wanted to go over briefly is our website. Um, where you can integrate your web, WordPress website with the software. And this makes it real easy to navigate to your site, as well as um, if you want to log in to manage your WordPress site, you can just use this admin link. Um, but yeah, our, our, any inventory you add to the software will show up right on your website. Anybody who checks out um, and adds these items to their cart or anything like that, um, those leads will show up right into the software. So that's it for the overview. If you have any other questions, you can always email us support at inflatableoffice.com. All right, thanks.